and Bayern Munich are champions of the Bundesliga 2013-2014. Tony Kroos, Mario Götze and Franck Ribéry have ensured that Bayern Munich can notch up league title number 24 in their history. Breaking all records. The T-shirts will now be given out to the players to wear. Mission treble is now very much on. Part one completed. The Champions League and the German League Cup, uh, FA Cup, the DFB Pokal. Still to be had. Is there nothing that this team can't do? It doesn't seem like it at the moment. They're trying to be the first team in the Bundesliga that's ever gone an entire season without getting beaten. They've set a new record, it's there. Another win away from home. Most wins in a season is still up for grabs. Fewest conceded goals as well, although they've inched one closer this evening, but there's only seven games to go. The chasing pack cannot physically touch them. But what a moment for Pep Guardiola. He's come into a team that was the most successful team in the Bundesliga ever. And he's not only taken over the reins, he's changed the way they play and he's made them even more successful. I joked last season that I felt sorry for Bayern fans because they had reached the furthest they could go by winning the triple, but maybe I was wrong. A double treble. Pizarro's still enjoying himself, even though he didn't get to play. What a season. What a season so far, and it's not over by a long chalk. That is the Bayern Munich end in this massive Olympic Stadium, 76,000. Scene of their triumph last summer in June when they won the treble. A lot of hard work, concentration, Diego Contento getting a hug from Pep Guardiola. He played his part too, Contento. Eight games so far this season. Manuel Neuer. Record champions, it says on the back. And 24, of course, 24th league title. Although some of the pedantic people out there will say, well, actually, it's only the 23rd in the Bundesliga in its current form, because the first time they won it was 1932. But then it was 69, 72, 73, 74, 80, 81, 85, 86, 87, 89, 90, 94, 97, 99, 2000, 2001, 2003, 5, 6, 8, 10 and 13. And now it's 2014 as well. for Boateng from his coach. There's Daniel van Poyten, don't get to see much of him these days. Nine games so far this season. And I get a sneaky suspicion that against Hoffenheim next time out, we might see a few more of the players like van Poyten that don't get a regular crack of the whip. Mario Goetze scored one, provided one today. What a buy he's been for them. Dortmund could certainly do with him back. There's no team in the Bundesliga that can touch Pep Guardiola's Bayern Munich. And I'm sure somewhere Uli Hernes is watching with his scarf on. And a very big grin on his face.
There'll be no champagne, there'll be no beer shower today because they've not finished work for the season. Jogi Löw is here, he will have watched the German internationals, Boateng, Muller, Neuer, Lahm, Goetze, Schweinsteiger. And it would be very unlikely that any of them won't be on the plane as long as they're fit. It's worth taking a picture of the moment. 100 Bundesliga games for Iron Robin, and as a reward, they get the title. Nineteen consecutive wins. A 52nd undefeated game. This is the team of the decade as far as Germany is concerned and they're stamping their authority across Europe as well. There's not a team in the world that would relish getting them in the next round of any competition. He seems a little bit overawed by the whole thing. They make their way towards the fans. Phone calls of congratulations coming through onto the bench. Although I'm sure Pep Guardiola can hardly hear anything. That's what the fans love, getting close to their idols. I can see over the top of the press photographers. Bastian Schweinsteiger there with the loud speaker, or a megaphone, rather. Matthias Sammer, Pep Guardiola. I wonder if he's having a quick call with your anchors. The smiling faces. This is victory. This is pure joy. And for the losers, well, they had their joy last season when they got promoted back up into the top flights. They're not in any danger of going down. You just have to let Bayern Munich have their day. They've certainly deserved it. They're wiping the floor with everyone. That bloke trying to get himself uh, into the photographs. There will be many of those. <laughs> Thomas Muller leading the celebrations. time in the Olympic Stadium. These are the moments they live for. The injuries, the disappointments, the being left on the bench, none of that matters now. This team is the team to beat in Europe and beyond, forged by Pep Guardiola. from the team left to him by Jupp Heynckes. A couple of changes, but not a lot. As I mentioned before, he uh, said he'd prefer not to have the beer shower. Well, he might get one at the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. As Bayern Munich move off towards a 
well-earned shower, no doubt. I'd like to remind you that tomorrow is relegation Wednesday. Lots of teams in a lot of trouble down at the bottom half of the table. Other teams, too, looking for a place in Europe. Leverkusen go to Augsburg. There's also Hamburg against Freiburg, Frankfurt against Gladbach, Nuremberg against Stuttgart. And I will leave you with the scenes of the jubilant Bayern fans. I hope you can join me, Phil Bonney, again next time for more thrills, spells and action from the Bundesliga. The title's been decided, but there is still much, much more to be sorted out in the remaining seven match days as the teams fight their way towards Europe or away from the drop. Join me if you can. Bye for now. Sign up now for the Bundesliga YouTube channel. Here. 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 Here.